Today's apologist claim, atheists reject God because they want to sin. Many apologists claim that we atheists really believe in God. We just pretend not to so we can sin without consequence. But that claim falls apart on several levels. First, there are hundreds of millions of atheists living around the world today. If the reason we are atheists is because we just want to sin, then why aren't hundreds of millions of atheists running around killing, robbing, raping, enslaving, and torturing people? Why are the most atheistic nations on earth, Japan, France, South Korea, Germany, the Netherlands, Austria, Iceland, Australia, Ireland, Denmark, the Czech Republic, China, Israel, Canada, the UK, also among the countries with the best overall health, best life expectancy, best education, best incomes, lowest crime rates, lowest abortion rates, lowest teen pregnancy rates, lowest STD rates, and lowest infant mortality. Those health and crime statistics are mostly better than those for the United States, which is one of the most religious nations in the developed world. Meanwhile, the countries that are the poorest, least healthy, and most violent also tend to be the most religious nations. Second, atheists represent just 0.1% of the total U.S. federal prison population, which is far lower than the more than 3% of the general population who are atheists. Why are we so massively underrepresented in prison populations? Well, although correlation does not necessarily equate to causation, Atheism is correlated with higher intelligence, better education, better economic status, and lower incarceration rates when compared to Christians. We also tend to espouse philosophies like secular humanism, which include objectively more moral morality than does Christianity. For instance, there's nothing in secular humanism that would ever make slavery, rape, genocide, or torture acceptable, whereas the God of the Bible commands or condones all of those atrocities and more. Third, since when does pretending to disbelieve in something allow you to escape its consequences? Gravity is inconvenient for people falling from tall buildings. But do you think that pretending gravity doesn't exist will save you from going splat? Atheists are on average more intelligent than Christians, so don't you think we would be smart enough to know that pretending doesn't change reality? Finally, and most significantly, since when does believing in God mean you can't sin without consequence? The Bible clearly states that salvation is dependent on believing in God. And it also states that, as a Christian, almost any sin can be forgiven. Those who don't believe in God, however, get sent straight to hell. So if anyone tells you they are an atheist, you can be reasonably certain that they truly do not believe God exists. Because it's Christianity that allows you to sin without consequence, not atheism. We atheists tend to accept that we are responsible for our own actions. If you don't understand why we don't believe in God, it's simply because we have no evidence that he exists. Period. Christians don't believe in the existence of Zeus, Vishnu, Thor, Cthulhu, the flying spaghetti monster, or any of the thousands of other gods people believe in so they already understand what it's like to not believe in gods. The only difference is, we atheists believe in one less god than they do, and for basically the same reason. No credible evidence.